What's up everybody, I'm back with another Two Deals video and today I'm going to be reviewing the Pretty Care Vacuum. That's such a funny name for a vacuum, Pretty Care. Okay. Well anyway, they reached out to me and asked me did I want to test their cordless vacuum. And this one, I've used a vacuum like this, a shark that bends right there uh, so that you can easily get underneath like couches and stuff like that. And um i also needed another cordless <laughs> vacuum so why not right now i will say before i even get into this is that i prefer ryobi's the reason why i prefer ryobi vacuums is because of the batteries you know they the batteries are easy to get to they're easy to acquire um easy to charge and they're not i mean they're not proprietary to that one device like this Va vacuum battery will be so let's go ahead and unbox this i'm going to take out everything and see there's another thing i like stuff that can stand up on its own usually these battery operated ones don't stand up on their own the only one i've ever seen be able to do that is the milwaukee now i mean ryobi not milwaukee um now interesting filter is washable so that's good to know so you don't have to worry about buying so many of these. Now, I will say this. It's very lightweight. Uh, the Ryobi is a little heavy. But now I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff out of, the, out of its packaging. And I'll assemble it. And then I'll get my comments on that. Okay. So I'm still taking stuff out of the package. I haven't even assembled it yet. And I ran into two things that were... One thing that was curious. And then one thing that's just not a good look but okay so first off i saw this and you see that just looks sloppy but it's not anything wrong with it i thought it might have been torn but it's not um it's just i don't know flexing in there we can't really i, I don't remember what the shark looked like in that regard we see how the ryobi looks nice and taut but uh again it doesn't have this flexible pole in the middle so there's that but and this is white because obviously i use this every almost every other day every day at least um and so it's sucked up a lot of stuff now i would like to direct your attention to these brushes here check your vacuum you notice it has some stiff bristles there and it also might have a microfiber thing which is soft and then it's a little tougher microfiber more dense to oh gosh i forgot i actually used this Ugh, it's gross um and to make sure you pick up things off of the ground now the carpet this is for hardwood really hard surfaces and this is for digging in a carpet right to agitate the carpet now let's take a look at this immediately i was thinking well this is soft but it must be soft and then hard bristle right no it, in fact it's so all of the so soft that you can't even turn it so this is immediately a hard surface vacuum so that's what you want to use this for it's not going to do anything for carpet so automatically without even using i'm telling you this is for so hard surfaces and maybe it is i don't i don't know that I, I now need to like check it because maybe this is what that's for a hard surface vacuum and we do need those because when you turn a brush off on this it's just the, the sucking mechanism. And for me, I'm going to be honest, I keep the brush on on the hard surfaces on, on my tile floor because you need something to kind of sweep it, right? I don't want to rely totally on the suction. So this would be good for that. But carpet, absolutely not. I don't even need to use that. I just know this is not going to be good on carpet. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble it, um, charge it up, and then use it. All right, so we now have the Pretty Care all assembled. And first, I want to just say, um, I've already, I mean, I've used it quite a bit. And as you can see, because this is really important, it stands up on its own. It stands up on its own. I've only seen one other vacuum, and that is the Ryobi, and why I like that so much, that stands up on its own. Usually they're all flopping all over the place. So you don't need to mount anything to the wall to store this. And I appreciate that. Um, one thing I do want to clear up. This is not so much a vacuum as it is a broom. Um, and I think, you know, language barrier is what is really getting in the way of that. 
because of the very soft bristles which i showed you when i unboxed it this can't be anything more than a broom um, and when you go and look at the manual and look at all the literature, you'll see that every surface that they're using is a hard surface. So this is more of a mechanical broom. That, that's really what it is. So I'm about to demonstrate uh, this, how it works. So I just demonstrated a wild child playing out in the grass in the fall uh, in the yard coming in. Uh, and daddy, I got to get started in my shoe and dumping it all in the foyer. This is literally last week. Anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm just recreating last week. So let's go ahead. You're, you're going to hear the sound. Um, and you're, we'll, we're going to see together how it handles this, this big debris. Because that, that is a whole leaf right there. Let's go. As you can see, it's not that loud. Um, on the hard surfaces, because that's that... Those bristles are so soft, you can have them activated. I didn't expect to get that. What god dang? Let's make sure nothing got stuck. Ah, I knew a leaf would. Something had to get stuck, but that guy, that god dang, that did real good. I sound like a country redneck right now. That god dang, hold on, miss the spot. Leaf again. I think we got it that time. And there we go. Um, I will say I did try using this uh, and it's a little clunky because, let me show you. In order to activate it, you gotta just push this little button here and then it'll bend down. But as you're vacuuming, see I just did it. It's, it tends to snap back right in place. So that gets annoying. I've used sharks that were a little better organized than that. But uh, as far as just uh, being a motorized broom, this thing is great. Uh, now, let's talk about attachments and also the, the motor power. All right, so this is everything it came with. An extra filter, it's already one installed. Uh, the mounting hardware, which I won't use. Um, this thing, which I will probably never ever use. I was wondering if this slid. But this is gonna be pretty decent to get in the crevice. So let's take this off and use this as a crevice tool. Now, real quick, you can use this as just a handheld part, or you can have the extension. Let's use this with the extension because it'll. We'll see how well this picks up because it'll have a further place to travel. It's a little weird. I expect this part to come out, but it doesn't. This whole bottom piece underneath this comes out, so you gotta pull as you push. There we go. And while we're here, I just want to acknowledge, I hope you saw that, that this snapped into place. On most vacuums, it uses friction and over time, they can get loose. You need to put tape around it. The, you know, then it gets just weird. The Ryobi is like that. All the sharks are like that that I've experienced. But I like that this one snaps into place with the attachment. Now, let's just go clean some corners, some crevices there. I have some plastic there from because this is where I open up all my uh, packages of cobwebs. So let's go. And it picked it all up. Man, yeah, some stuff there. Now, I also would like to add that I just realized when I when you saw me vacuum all that up, I did that on low. That was on eco mode. I forgot that there's a, a a more powerful thing. So you push this to crank it up. So this is what I was using. But you can do this. And it's like twice the suction. And here's that leaf again. That leaf is undefeated right now. I think it got stuck in there. There we go. So now you may be wondering about battery life. Well, it takes maybe an hour or two to charge up. I don't know. I just put it on charge and kind of check, walk back, walk by and saw it was fully charged fairly quickly. Um, 
I vacuumed all the hard floors in the house. Um, and I just let it, and I did it all on high and I let it run. It took easily 15, 20 minutes and that thing was still alive. So the battery, you have a long life on this thing. I don't think you, it'll be a big issue because again, this is not for carpet. It's for hard surfaces and it's going to do that. Make pretty quick work of that no matter really how big the space is. So I think you'd be pretty good with that. Now let's get into the price. I think I've covered everything. Oh, the dust collection and dust emptying. Let's do that. Uh, so here we are. This remove is the leaf. <laughs> Finally got you. So in order to remove the dust cup from the entire assembly, you press this button and then turn it. Um, if you want to just empty it, you just simply push this and it all pops open like everything else. Now, its collection is low. I don't see a max line anywhere where they normally tell you don't go past this area but i could tell you now from experience you don't want to really go past this you don't want it to get up there like near the motor and stuff you just you want to keep it down here all right we got our trusty dusty b-board digital scale out here to weigh this bad boy it's very light um and it actually outputs zero watts right now like just in standby even though that light is on it's not draining anything <laughs> anything and it's not running off battery obviously so but let's go ahead and um put this on display here on display on four pounds 12 ounces just out of curiosity like what is it still not using any daggone juice whatsoever it's so crazy uh yeah but four pounds 12 ounces now as a Comparison, let's weigh the Ryobi. All right, now here is the Ryobi. And if I had a gripe with the Ryobi, it would be the weight. Um, and it has a four and five battery in there. We got to keep it fair. Uh, here we are. Eight, nine pounds. God dang. I knew that thing was heavy. Four pounds, 12 ounces eight pounds that does have a larger dust collection and it's more powerful obviously this is made for carpet um and it has a double roller but that is a significant weight difference right there i enjoy just grabbing that if i need to get little spiders or whatever i'm gonna use this because that's what i've been using this is you notice the weight when you picking it up and trying to get up high sometimes i find myself using two hands because it's just cumbersome to use uh so yeah, so that's it. You have the pretty care. Again, this is a hard surface broom, hard surface vacuum. It is a vacuum, but it's for hard surfaces only. You want to use it for that, you'll be very pleased. Now let's talk about pricing. This normally sells for $119. Um, currently it's on sale for $89.99. Uh, we know that we've seen the Ryobis on sale, especially on Hack, we're at Home Depot for around $100. Or 105 or 110 or something like that. Um, even the single roller Ryobi will be better in terms of suction than the Pretty Care. However, you have to factor in that weight difference. If you have arthritis or you're older or you, or you have to also consider your situation. If you had hard floors, you don't want the Ryobi because all it will do is just suction. You could turn the brush off. Uh, but the brush, you know, I'm saying now this is going to actually pick up better because you have a soft bristle collecting all of the debris from the ground. You saw it perform, um, how it performed the Ryobi. I would have had to turn the brush off so that harsh brush wouldn't damage. Um, now it wouldn't damage a towel, but if you have hard floors, it could damage the hardwood. So there is definitely a use for this. I just want you guys to understand that it is for hard surfaces only. Carpet, you could forget it. The Ryobi all day. But for hard services, and if you were getting like cobwebs out of the corners and stuff like that frequently, sucking up bugs, I this is my go-to personally because of its weight. Um, so anyway, hopefully this is helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know. The link will be in the description uh, to the Amazon store. And uh, hopefully this is helpful. See you guys next video.